Hey, today we're gonna to work with one of my favorite fall vegetables. If you look around the marketplaces right now, you'll see leeks all over the place. The most important thing when you're working with leeks is to make sure you get all the grit and grime out of them, right? So I'm fanning the leek. I'm just kind of pulling back all the layers and letting the cold water run right through. All right, they've had their bath. I'm gonna cut the tops off that we're not gonna to use today. Those are my stock tops. I'm just gonna make a quick potato and leek soup. So this is something you can whip together right away when you get home from work. Simply take a baking potato, cut it up into small spots and dice. And then we're gonna take some of our leek, cut it thin, and we're gonna put that into a little stock in a pan. I have it going here because we wanna get a head start. So you just want them to be able to be fall apart tender. These are perfect. And now we're gonna take a little, what we call a stick blender. It's got the blade underneath here. And we're gonna put it into our pan. You can uh, do this soup with or without cream. I like a little cream in it. With the immersion blender or the stick blender, you simply do it right in your hot pot. I'm even gonna show you a little cool garnish to put on top. So for the garnish, we're gonna take our leek like this and we're gonna turn it the other direction and we're gonna julienne our leek for a little leek frisee. So just as thin as you can cut them, and that's gonna be the little matchstick garnish for our soup top. Now we're gonna take our beautiful matchstick cut leeks, and we're just dropping them into our hot oil. I'm gonna do the same thing with some sage leaves. You know, potato leek soup is a very lightly bodied soup, so you don't wanna to be too strong. And when you cook these herbs, it really takes some of the potency out of them, which is what we're looking for. As soon as they stop boiling, you'll know all the liquid is out and that you have nice crispy Frise. Now it's time for our soup. And then let's put on a little bit of our little fried loveliness there. This feels like fall. And then we're gonna drizzle just a touch of good olive oil. This is the time when you are just gonna float it on top. This is the time when you wanna use your best olive oil. And that, my friends, is a taste of fall like nobody's business.